Hey, welcome to the channel and welcome to Broome. Broome is a small town in the Kimberley region in the northern part of Western Australia and is one of the most remote towns in the country. In fact, it's more than 1,100 kilometers away from the nearest capital city. But despite the remoteness, there is a lot on offer in this little part of the world. There's great beaches, there's great food and culture, and of course, there's pearls. So, come with me today as we're gonna check out one of the gems of WA Room. All right, the place we're standing at right now is Cable Beach. 22 kilometers of sand and surf just outside of the, the, uh, the town center of Broome. Now this beach is probably featured on every single postcard you've ever seen of Broome. Because at night time, along the edge of the beach, there's normally a parade of camels. Because uh, riding camels here on Cable Beach is a very, very uh, popular pastime for visitors to the town. Now the waters here are a fantastic place to go for a swim in the dry season, which is from about June through to October. But the other times of the year, it's a massive no-go zone. That's due to the box jellyfish and irukandu, which are nasty stinging creatures that can cause a lot of uh, damage and pain to your health. It's also a place where people have seen saltwater crocs because they've come up from the near, nearby uh, rivers and they've uh, come here to the beach and during the wet season, they don't mind uh, you know, laying around on the beach working on their tan. So another reason to stay away. But it's a beautiful spot and it's one of the most awesome attractions that you should definitely check out if you ever come here to Broome. All right, so it would be impossible to visit Broome and not show you or at least talk about pearls. The pearl industry is probably like one of the things that really kind of built up this town back in the 1800s when many of the immigrants from overseas uh, come to this place. People from Southeast Asia and in particular Japan who were experts at harvesting pearls all came here to uh, be part of the, uh, of the pearl industry and many of them and their families have stayed. Now the pearls that they have here are some of the rarest in the world. They're called South Sea Pearls. The most perfect of them sell between $10,000 and $300,000 and they're found in the waters just off Broome. The pure and clear nutrient rich waters of Broome combined with the high tides which are up to 10 meters here are a perfect uh, a breeding ground for the type of oyster that creates those South Sea pearls. All right, so back in the day, uh, diving for pearls was a very risky uh, business and many people actually died trying to uh, get those precious aquatic gems. But today, but today it's a lot easier to uh, find pearls here in Broome. There's lots of pearl shops or lots of shops selling pearls and we're going to check out one of them right now. really ranges to depending on the single pearl by itself. Yep. Um, the most expensive single pearl is 198000 Just for the single pearl. But then once you get to the strand prices, we have strands up to 500000 So a strand like these ones here? Yeah, so these are these start, start at 14000 and go up to nineteen but they can go up too. So you can get strands with like three layers. Really? So that's, like, that's when you get to the half a million price point. So the pearl industry is what sort of helped really make Broome. And here in Chinatown, there are many remnants of the immigrants who moved to Broome to uh, take part in the pearl industry back in the 1800s. Lots of places here have Chinese names or Japanese names. So you look around the city and you'll see Thai places, Filipino places, Japanese places, and it just really adds to the flavor in this distant and remote, but really cool little country Australian town. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so right behind me is Sun Pictures, which is the oldest continuously running outdoor cinema in the world. They first started showing movies here back in 1916. 1916, when they were just silent movies and they had a guy in there playing the music as the a, as a pictures showed on the big screen. And today, it continues to be a place which shows all the hot and popular films right here in Broome. Hey, well, how cool is this? The outdoor cinema, there's that massive screen that you can see like right behind me. And then right here, you can see we've got all these beautiful comfy seats that you can just uh, kick back and watch your favorite flick. <sighs> what time is the Barbie movie on? There are so many dining and drinking options to choose from here in Broome, but today we're going to check out the place right behind me. It's called Matzo's Brewery. Now, Matzo's Brewery calls itself the most remote brewery in the world, and it may well be correct. They're famous for, as well as their fine food and wine, their beers, which are inspired by the tropics. Flavors like ginger and chili and mango, to name but three. So let's go check it out. Let's go check out the food and the drinks here at Matzo's, here in Broome. Welcome to Lou's Bar Tasting Challenge. Just drink the stuff. Okay, what, what flavor is this one? Oh, fine, fine. I have no idea. <laughs> That's the ginger one, mate. The ginger? ginger. All right, how's it taste? Ginger. <laughs> mango. Mango, and the mango? So it's like a pale ale, slightly tart, but a little bit sweeter. Less. Covering all that. And down the <laughs> The cream. Oh my god, it's so cool. <laughs> This is normal pale. It's pale. Out. Just slightly citrusy, so it's not as good as the mango. Yep. But then we're in the lager side. So you, so you got the draft? It's very similar, but this. That's a dark lager. It's good. Malt, <clears throat> caramelly, slightly smokiness. <laughs> Sea but it's not as crazy as oh, it's making all these faces. normal dark ones. <laughs> well, hey, thanks, Angel. You've done a fantastic job, mate. I don't drink beer, so good job. Well, don't worry. Use code. <laughs> use what's your what's your channel? Adventure Tim. Use Adventure. Subscribe Just to Adventure Tim. Smash YouTube. the like button <laughs> and hit subscribe. <laughs> Hardest working man in the broom, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Good stuff. <laughs> Hello, I'm Pedro from Timor Leste. Timor Leste. Yeah, Pedro. Yeah. Are you from Timor Leste as yes. well? Oh, no, Vietnamese. Vietnamese. <laughs> okay, he's got this. Oh, look at this smash burger. How's it look, dude? It looks good. He's a happy boy. Yeah, Enjoy, thank buddy. You. Thank you. <laughs> right, about to tuck on into this uh, iceberg wedges and smoky eggplant uh, dish, which I've added a little bit of meat uh, to it as well. So it comes to around about $25 Australian. Well, that was a great meal. I really enjoyed it. If you're ever in Broome, make sure you check out this place, Matso's Brewery. Great food, great drinks, and great atmosphere. All right, right now behind me we have Town Beach. Town Beach is another great place in Broome to go for a dip or a swim or a bit of a snorkel, even just cool off on a hot day. Town Beach is actually surrounded by some nice parks and some nice gardens. It's a really cool, relaxed area. There's a kids' playground not so far away and right behind me we can see Broome's jetty. Now, here in Broome, as, as in other parts of the Kimberley, they have extremely high tides, some of the highest tides in the world. This place is a great vantage point for what's called Stairway to the Moon. And that happens uh, during, the, during the dry season for two to three days per month. And what happens then is when the full moon rises above Roebuck Bay, the reflection on the uh, tidal mud flats looks like a stairway heading up to, to the moon. And it's something that's well worth uh, checking out and something that's a very, very big draw card for uh, tourists and visitors who come to Broome.
Broome is truly a unique travel destination. Although it is a little bit difficult to get here, the things on offer, the things you can explore, like the natural attractions, the great food and culture, and of course those beautiful pearls, makes it definitely a place that you should add to your travel bucket list. To check out more great places to check out here in Australia, you want to click on this video over here next. Hey, thank you for watching. I do appreciate your company and I will see you in the next video.